Hi, I'm Leslie from Sakura. Neon is such a hot trend right now and our Jelly Roll Moonlight pens come in a lot of great bright neon colors. So I'm going to show you how to create a fun neon mini canvas project. There's no need to break out messy paint supplies because these are made entirely with pens and markers. I use small canvases, permapake and pen touch markers, and Jelly Roll Moonlight pens. And look, my artwork even glows under a black light. So first take a small sized canvas. Since we'll be using pens to add detail, you don't want the canvas to be too big or it'll take forever to complete. This canvas is about 4 inches by 4 inches. Next, use permapake markers to color the entire white surface of the canvas. Permapake dries with a matte finish and you get full, even coverage. You can choose a bright color for the background if you want to have a really vibrant neon painting, or a more muted color if you just want a little splash of neon color on your wall. So let your permapake dry for a few minutes, and in the meantime get out your pen touch paint markers and your Jelly Roll Moonlight pens. So, these five colors out of the 10 pack are fluorescent neon and they'll glow under a black light. Even if you don't have a black light, these are still vibrant neon colors and they look really cool. Pen Touch Paint pens have really bold, opaque color and are also great for this project. Don't mix these pens up though. Pen Touch won't glow under a black light. Since I know Zentangle, I used a bunch of Zentangle patterns to decorate my canvases. If you haven't heard of Zentangle, it's an art form where you take simple patterns to create really neat works of art. Visit Zentangle.com for more info. If you have a certified Zentangle teacher in your area, he or she can teach you the Zentangle method. Choose at least two colors you'd like to use on your canvas. Using a little bit of neon goes a long way, so try pairing a white pen touch pen or a dark Jelly Roll Moonlight color with one of the fluorescent neon moonlight pens. Or go all out with two fluorescent colors. Fill as much or as little of the canvas as you'd like. Here I'm drawing a tangle called Rain. After it dries, you've got a neon piece of artwork of your own. And if you used any of the five fluorescent Jelly Roll Moonlight colors, don't forget to look at your work of art under a black light. <laughs>